All right, here I'm going to talk about the Pythagorean theorem, how it pertains to obtuse triangles, acute triangles, and right triangles. Just kind of show you here using some sketch pad, which we will be doing in class, uh, this same uh, sketch that you're going to be seeing here. Uh, we made ourselves an obtuse triangle here, ABC. Went ahead and measured each of the three sides. Using the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we went ahead and squared each of the three sides. Took the two smaller sides, which here happen to be BC and AB, took their squares and added them together, which ended up being 68.9. Compared that to the third side, and you'll notice that the C squared, or the larger side when it's squared, is still bigger than the other two combined, and therefore you can identify the triangle as being obtuse. Looking at a different example here, this is an acute triangle, same setup, went through, this one's a little bit different, lettering DEF, squared each of the sides, took the two smaller sides, which here happen to be DE and FD, added them up, you'll see down here it got 77.37. Comparing that to the larger side that's squared, you'll notice that C squared, the one that's larger squared, is actually smaller than when the two other sides, which are the smaller sides, are added together. And that's how you can know it's a or an acute triangle. The Pythagorean theorem is really set up for right triangles. Notice we've got a triangle here of GHI. Measure the angle GHI to be 90, verifying that it's a right triangle. Took the two smaller sides, which here were GH and HI, squared them, um, added them together, and then comparing them to the other side squared, you'll notice that they're both equal to one another and therefore that means it's a right triangle uh, as you do it. So again, if the C squared of the higher, longer side of squared is bigger than the two other sides, that would be an, uh, an acute triangle, uh, or obtuse, I'm sorry. And if the two sides uh, added together are bigger than the other side squared, that makes it an acute triangle. Um, those are the ways that you can tell the difference.